information. Well, the spring furniture market just wrapped up in High Point. It is a chance, of course, for buyers to see some of the best craftsmanship in the world. So most will order hundreds of the same item to stock their showrooms, mm -hmm. but one man does things on a much smaller scale. Brad Jones tells us more about these one of a kind pieces that are made in North Carolina. Stop by the Mill Collective in High Point and you'll see some beautiful handmade pieces, including several crafted by Jeremy Camilla. You know, I'm thrilled to be surrounded by this level of furniture. These are people that I admire. He shops only a couple of miles away. Years ago, he and his wife imported the furniture they sold. But Camille wanted to be more hands-on. The elegant pieces he now creates stand out for their simple, clean lines and for what they don't have. And I knew it could be done, so I wanted to apply that to my furniture and to make a name for myself as that guy who, you know, who creates special pieces without, without nails, screws, or stains. It's a purist approach. No nails, no screws, no stains. He uses relatively simple tools to highlight the beauty of nature. Well, the wood is the star. Sometimes he works with walnut, sometimes a more exotic choice like purple heart from South America or curly maple, where it takes a while to turn the raw wood into a plank ready for a simple oil and wax finish. It's that careful craftsmanship that can unlock the treasure within. Every piece of wood's got its own character and you oh, kind of see it come out, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it, it gets revealed to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the first to see it. <laughs> it's fun, it's kind of Christmassy. The vivid grain pattern could end up in one of his desks or tables or shelves. He uses fairly traditional techniques, only pins and pegs to hold the furniture together. But those techniques have been used on ancient temples that have stood for a thousand years. Everything he makes is numbered and he doesn't want to do the same thing twice. The pieces are more special if there's only one of them. I would rather use my time to make special pieces. It's more fun for me too. Prices range from several thousand dollars to more than 10,000. But they're as much art as they are furniture, which is why Jeremy Camilla loves to see his work in a gallery where it can really stand out. I take pride in making it, and I'm thankful that it can be seen. That's the story there. I mean, I love making it. I will always make it, even if it can't be seen. But knowing that it gets an opportunity to, to be shared, it's, you need that as an artist. Camilla Furniture, art that you could live with and enjoy every day. In High Point, Brad Jones, Fox 8 News. Just stunning there. Camilla Furniture is on display over at the Mill Collective, which is on West Broad Avenue in High Point. And you can also check out Camilla Furniture on Instagram. His page is perfectly called Furniture is Art and his website, CamillaFurniture.com.